One afternoon in a village in Bali, the sun's rays began to dim the bright sky. Sarimerta village, Klungkung. The calm atmosphere of the village wafts with the fragrant aroma of incense that rises into the sky. Behind the green trees, you can see the twilight sky showing magical colors like a god's painting. At the Dalem Sarimerta temple in Klungkung, a sacred ceremony is taking place. Village children gather around the temple wearing traditional Balinese clothes or sarongs. There are those who carry ceremonial equipment such as umbrellas, spears and kubas. There are those who play the gamelan called baleganjur. And there are also those who prepare other ceremonial equipment. They stood ready and smiled while I greeted them in return with a smile and a friendly greeting. The atmosphere was festive and the sound of clappers or kulkul could also be heard. This is the village atmosphere in Bali, always smiling and friendly greeting. Look, I greet them one by one, always smiling. Smile. Smile. Now I'm heading to the Gamelan or Baleganjo musician's place. I see these cute little children, still innocent in the world of his children. They gather with each other. I greeted them one by one, all smiling, the friendly culture of the Balinese people, greeting each other, sometimes interspersed with jokes and teasing, a sense of family that brings happiness. While playing gamelan or baleganjur, they definitely greet you with smiles and jokes, looking happy. Percussion baleganjur is a type of gamelan music originating from Bali, Indonesia. This is music that is typically used in various traditional ceremonies, such as wedding ceremonies, welcoming important guests, or religious processions. Gamelan is a traditional Indonesian musical ensemble consisting of various percussion instruments such as gongs, kendang or drums, metallophones and flutes. Balaganjur is a type of gamelan that has a different instrument composition from other gamelan. Balaganjur percussion is usually played by a group of musicians consisting of drum players and gong players. The drum player is tasked with playing a strong basic rhythm and driving the rhythm of the music, while the gong player is tasked with providing additional color and nuance by playing the gongs in an ensemble. Overall, Balaganjur percussion music is an integral part of Balinese life. With its strong rhythms and dramatic feel, this music creates a distinctive and enchanting atmosphere at every event where it is played. Now we go into the temple. There is a temple priest and others who are preparing for the ceremony. This is the priest at the Sarimerta temple who is preparing for the ceremony. And because today coincides with Galungan Day, everyone congratulates you on this Galungan celebration. The Galungan celebration is a celebration of the victory day of Dharma or truth against Adharma or evil. And their greeting is still with a friendly smile. And this is how it looks like inside the temple on Galungan day. What was seen was someone sitting waiting for directions from the priest and temple elders to carry out prayers. While waiting, I tried to greet everyone here, say hi to everyone. <laughs> and those sitting here wearing all white clothes are the temple priests called Pemangku. A priest or Pemangku is a clergyman or holy person in the Hindu belief in Bali. A Pemangku or priest has the authority to lead Hindu religious ceremonies. 
a person can be said to be a priest if he has carried out a purification ceremony or what is called purification in the form of Bantan Pavintenan. And I met again with another P. Manku while saying the word Rahayu, wishing everyone health and happiness. I am happy to see them in a cheerful and friendly atmosphere. This is Bali, Balinese culture. Social and cultural interactions are still maintained. The Balinese people seen are some of the residents of the village of Sarimerta Klungkung Bali. If there was a larger Hindu ceremony at this temple, there would be more people attending than you see now. Look at their smiles. They definitely smile when greeted. I am very happy to see it. I went around again to see the atmosphere inside this temple. Look at them, still waiting for the priest's directions. Because the prayer hasn't started yet, I'm still allowed to go around. You hear the sound of Kidung singing, a song sung in every Hindu religious ceremony in Bali. This song is usually sung in groups together, sung before the prayer process begins and after the prayer is finished. Kidung Wargasari is a religious and local cultural song applicable to certain tribes. In Bali, the Wargasari song may have different songs, but the words are usually the same. Song Wargasari is used to worship God. This is how Hindu religious processions have been going on for generations in Bali. And thank you to everyone who has watched my video. I just want to document Balinese life naturally so that other people also know about the existing and true activities of Balinese people. I hope you enjoy watching my video. Please like and subscribe. Once again, thank you. See you in another video.